atheist? I am definitely an atheist, yes. Now, why are you an atheist? Why am I an atheist? Because there is no God. Atheism assumes that you can disprove the existence of a God. Uh, agnostic is a more correct term, but I'm an atheist. Are you an atheist? Uh, yeah. I am an atheist, yeah. I am, uh, yes. Can we I stop, am? please? Yeah. I was wondering... Okay, I was every, wondering every, I... everyone say it with me now. Atheism and agnosticism are not mutually exclusive. Aha! For right. anybody who and... still is unclear on this, think of it as a sort of um, four-point matrix. Uh, you got agnosticism being the vertical line, and you've got atheism being the horizontal line. Those are two different lines. Atheism and theism will be the horizontal line. You got atheism on the left, you got uh, theism on the right, uh, agnosticism on the top, and you got gnosticism on the bottom. When you are in the upper left quadrant, you are an agnostic atheist. That's what it's called. You can be both. It's that simple. The fact that the general public that Gray likes to interview that don't actually know what they're talking about doesn't still know this is ridiculous. How much does this have to be repeated for people to finally get that? Also, the fact that he's just using jump cuts with no fucking... Like, we don't know what question he's asking them. He could be saying, you know, if this were to happen, blah, 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 and then they say, yes, I'm an atheist. What, what, and I'm what, sure what's... later on that will come into play a lot more aggressive. What, the one thing that, that also got me was with that with that one woman. Uh, atheism assumes, as soon as you say atheism assumes anything, you're wrong. You're wrong, because yeah. it doesn't. There is nothing. The only thing you can tell about anybody who's an atheist is they don't believe in a God. That's it. That's the only thing you can tell. You can't tell how they got there. You can't tell if they're a rational person based off of that. You can't tell what all their philosophy is. That's it. It's the most, it is such a non-descriptive thing concerning the entirety of how you actually think about the world. But in fairness, they're, they're, um, there are lots of people who don't believe in a god who will say that atheism is the belief that no god exists. They, they right. will say things have, like... And then uh, you'll have the atheists who disagree saying, well, exactly. I'm an atheist and no. <laughs> and of course the problem is that you'll in any decent dictionary you'll find both definitions and most people just don't care enough to, to learn what the difference is. Mm -hmm. Right, because that's that's called nuance, and people just don't like that. It makes their brains yeah. hurt. Yeah. Real thinking is hard, and more often than not, unsuccessful. Okay. I don't know we... who said that quote, but it is. Yeah. Quote. If you don't know who you if you don't know who you quote, you don't know who who the quote is from, then you then it was you. <laughs> yeah, it was me. Definitely me. I am brilliant. All right. Shall we carry on? Yeah. So you're not an atheist. Uh. No. I'm so not. you're leaning that way because of evolution? Yeah. I don't believe in the, there's a guy in the sky that lives in the sky. You believe in evolution? Of course I do, yes. Live science says of Darwinian evolution, it can turn dinosaurs into birds, apes into humans, and amphibious mammals into whales. What Darwin shows oh, is that's, 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 that's an interesting way of putting it. <laughs> that was hilarious. I hate. I know what. I know what they're. I. I'm giving. I'm probably giving them too much credit here, but I think I know what they're going for. But just the way they put it is just not doing them any favors. Of course, dinosaurs don't turn into birds. They. Uh, it's a gradual process over generations that they are evolving that way. It's not. I hate the way that's put because it sounds like it's just one day he just becomes a dinosaur. You, you just know that Our at some point. Bird, sorry. You just know that at some point in this, like Ray's gonna have his whole little spiel where he says, "Well, I just don't understand how fish uh, decide they were gonna go on land. Like, what happened? Like, they grew legs at some point, and then they just ran out on land, breathed, breathed a little bit, ran back into the ocean until they grew lungs. How's that work? You know that's gonna happen, and it's just yeah. going to be painful. <laughs> yeah, I would actually just like to say the best way to explain how it actually happened in terms of dinosaurs to birds is watching a video called 65 million years with a creationist it's pretty good 
Very entertaining as well. I know it isn't mine, so I, this isn't a shameless self-promotion. Is that we don't need to invoke any supernatural force or power to account for the development of life through time on Earth. The ongoing processes that, that are observable in today's world. You think it's a belief? I think it's just fact. I think more like facts. There is too much evidence to ignore. Do you think it's a belief? No, it's science. It's the way it happened. It's logical. You know, all the scientists pretty much agree with it. It's, it's more of a fact. When did you start to believe? Um, when I started to think for myself. When did you start believing? Uh, when I took my first biology class. It all started to make a lot of sense. The teacher made it very, very easy to understand. I generally trust Stop. the scientific community. It makes more sense than... He's basically trying to portray it as a religious belief. Not only that, he's also making it sound like, oh, it was my first biology class. The teacher explained it. It's starting to look like evil teachers do nasty things. Yeah, well, that too. But it's, it's not the rampant anti, anti, the the rampant anti, anti all, the, all the all the cavemen, the Homo sapiens, the dinosaurs. It shows clear evidence. I believe in science. What's your major here at this university? Biology. Your biology major? Yeah. You believe in evolution? Yes. But what's your major? Geology. Chemistry. Biochemistry. Environmental science and policy. I'm a physicist. Biochemistry. Hey, do you believe in evolution? Uh, yes, I do. Do you believe in evolution? Yes, I do. Of course. Yes, I do. I do believe in evolution. You believe in evolution? Yes. Are you a strong believer? Yes. Are you a strong believer? Yep. Uh, yes. Yes. Absolutely. A scientific uh, method uh, is based on stop, the stop, collection of data. Here. I just, Why has he got to repeat this? I well, want to stop you, for one quick reason. We never see what question he's asking. All we see is that microphone going towards them. He could be saying, do you like cake? Answer, yes, I do like cake. But then he just cuts it to, yes. We have no fucking clue what he's saying. But the question is just so horrendously bad. It's like, do you believe in evolution? Uh, Are you a strong you believer? And like, I, like, here's the thing. It's such a, it's such a slick way to put it because... For, for most people, especially in America, because our, our English works different than uh, how European English and most world English goes. You mean probably? Uh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> we came from there, too. Um, anyway, uh, our, when, we, when we say the word believe, generally what we mean is we're convinced that it's true, and that's why we believe it. Um, but uh, the way he's phrasing it is he's trying to phrase it in a way that makes it sound like everyone says uh, that they believe something without actually knowing as to whether or not it could in fact be true. Exactly. A very, a very faith-based kind of belief is how he's trying to phrase it. And that's a very, very sneaky thing to do is to just manipulate language like that. Him being sneaky? Never. Through Never. observation and experimentation. Ray Comfort's totally a beacon Science of virtue. <laughs> could you give me some observable evidence that evolution is true. Uh, something I don't have to uh, receive by faith. Yeah. Some observable evidence. I mean, take a look at what happened 65 million years ago. Hang on, I can't. That's 65 million years ago. I believe, t yeah, millions of years. So that can't be observed. Uh, we can trace the evolution through the fossil record. Could you be specific? Just give me one. Um, uh, between six and seven million years ago. Hundreds of thousands to millions of years? So it's quite a long time. Yes. Millions of years. Yes. So it can't be observed. Evolution is is not testable over time. Forensics is not it does uh, not uh, well, exist what uh, context, please? Because you have the hypothesis that <laughs> predicts what you will find in the fossil record. And also, in the so it is testable. And, and the genome, yeah. That just that section was painful. Yeah, this whole thing's going to be painful. <laughs> By the way, folks, we're doing this. I, we're doing this blind. So I, I, I thought I, I had myself braced for this. How fucking wrong I was. I've said this a bunch of times before concerning this kind of an argument, and, I've, and I'll say it again. Ray Comfort evidently doesn't believe in forensics. No, no. The past can't be tested. Really, really.
So you're saying unless we were there, then we can't say anything happened. Fine, then uh, you then you can't say that you're right either. How's that work? Sucks to be you, right? <laughs> also, if it happened in the past, how do we know anything exists? Because technically, everything exists a slightly bit behind what we actually perceive, or something along those lines. The world exists slightly behind what we perceive. Them to live only for a few decades, and that's too slow, too small a time scale to see evolution going on. Richard Dawkins. We see nothing of these slow changes in progress until the hand of time has marked the lapse of ages. Charles Darwin. You've got the canine kind, the coyote, and the domestic oh. dog, and there's the feline kind, which is the cat, the tiger and the kitten, and you've got humankind. So Darwin said there'd be a change of kinds over many years, so could you give me what? one example of... Now hold on a moment, because, because he, just, he just didn't define kinds, he just gave examples, and the examples are kind of ridiculous. <laughs> the feline kind, the tiger and the kitten. Okay, well, according to the Bible that you're quoting to use the word kind, you're saying that kinds can bring forth. I don't believe a house cat tabby can mate with a lion. Yeah, that's not really an experiment I would want to see happen. Um, no. Also, it's good to see he had the little quote miners at work full swing down the mine shaft. Mm. <sighs> well, the, the, the only reason he brings up those quotes in the first place is because he's trying to say that uh, when it comes to evolution, uh, our I, it, I've seen this argument before, our God is in fact time. But with enough time, anything is possible, blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm sorry that it might hurt your head to conceive of an idea of something that can't happen in a short time scale, but that's just a fact. I'm sorry. It's evidence of a change of kinds. So, for instance, the fossil record shows the common ancestors of all carnivores that cats and dogs were once linked, once united by a common ancestor. How long ago? Uh, this, I believe, was like 60 million years ago. I don't want something I have to accept by faith. I want it to be observable. Observable evidence. Well, uh. I mean, if you're just asking me here on the street, there's not really much I can tell you in terms of observable evidence. Like, we would have to really examine existing data to draw conclusions of our own. I would have to exactly. have faith, and we would have to have some exactly. amount of faith. He's can you think totally of any observable right. evidence for Darwinian just, evolution? Where he said there'd be a change. The you can't just interview people on the streets and expect them all to just have the evidence at hand and handy and just completely off the top of their head. Oh yeah, I can just give you a complete and total list of all the different puzzles we have. It's basically like every time he's tried to, how did we get here? And he expects someone to say, well, we all formed from the protons of stars that were certain. And just the big fucking spiel of from Big, big Bang until three seconds ago. In one sentence. Yeah. It, oh, if it's more than one sentence, his single brain cell just fucking burns out and dies. Carry on. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, we a monkey to a man. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, a change of kinds. I don't really believe there's any proof for that yet. Wild monkeys are the what? only ones with the fifth digit. Okay, I'm going to. Oh, chemistry it. man. Oh, of course, chemistry. Yeah. yeah. Fucking chemistry major. <laughs> Those fucking chemists. Also, um, we didn't come from monkeys. Different ancestor, or same ancestor, different species. Is it not fucking hard, Ray? Like we have? Of course. Koalas have a fifth digit. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I think we're evolved from koalas? No. And I went to, like, Washington, D.C. I saw the, they had a whole exhibit just on the... In the Smithsonian? Yeah, in the Smithsonian. Oh wait, so that is just like some stuffed dummies, yeah. like standing around a fire. I know that everyone talks about the missing link for humans and whatnot. I believe that there are connections that are out there that we haven't found yet. I'm going to trust what those experts did, those experts uh, came up with. I have a strong trust in evolutionary ideas based on the evidence presented. Can you think of any observable evidence for Darwinian evolution, a change of kinds? I haven't seen it myself, but I believe what the textbooks tell me about it, so... Oh, God. Faith in <laughs> the experts? I have faith in the experts, yeah. I guess similar to how oh. most people have faith that God actually exists, I have faith oh in my the experts. God. Oh, for fuck's sake. The Christ. scientific method is, must be observable and repeatable, 
So could you give me one piece of observable evidence for Darwinian evolution? Okay, I would point to, as one great example is, look at the genetics of the stickleback. What's that? Uh, so stickleback fish are a very interesting collection of species that were recently isolated after the end of the Ice Age. What have they become? They're, they're various species of sticklebacks. They stayed as fish? Well, of well, course. Uh, How do you think of uh, uh, evidence? How what the could hell do you expect, Ray? Fish is not is, kind. Ray, if you consider fish a kind, you've got a lot. To, that is like the like, amount of different types of fish out there. Have you ever red, white, shark, shit out an octopus? <laughs> <laughs> the amount of different fish out there. I mean, if you're just going to say fish are a kind. Even uh, if you divide it into saltwater and freshwater, those are still two massive fucking gatherings. And does he really think, in all his infinite retardation, that it was just one day a fish says, Fuck, I'm gonna grow wings. Yep, Frank, I'm growing wings, don't try and stop me. And then just flew out, sprouted some legs, feathers, and what, off he fucking goes. Because he's been corrected on these kinds of, th on these kinds of mistakes in, in understanding of evolution before, but he just never changes his whole spiel because he's got a fucking agenda. Yeah, because, it, agenda, because it I works to, to, his, to the people who were buying his videos.